The story of net zero is very much the story of electrification. The one thing that's clear from that is the demand for electrical skills and electrically skilled people is going to grow exponentially. Where are we at the moment? I think the industry is responding. In England, we've seen apprentice starts for the electrical apprenticeship grow by about 30%. We've seen similar growth in places like Wales and elsewhere. So we are responding, but the question is, is that going to be enough? And the answer at the moment is probably not. There are two main bottlenecks in our way uh, preventing more people from joining the industry. One is we just don't have enough apprenticeship opportunities. A couple of ways potentially we could deal with that. Number one, on the larger scale jobs, the contract requirements should be a lot stronger in terms of uh, expecting more apprentices working on those jobs. At the smaller end of the industry, there are many, many smaller businesses uh, that may hesitate taking on the responsibility on the risk of, a, of an apprentice that may be with them for four years before they fully qualify. So for those companies in particular, the very smallest companies, we should really look again at the incentives. Another bottleneck is in the kind of training provision that we have. I mean, there are many excellent apprenticeship training providers uh, around the country, but far more money uh, and resource goes into classroom-based college courses which don't lead people uh, to qualified electrician status and have very low rates of progression from those courses uh, into the electrical uh, apprenticeship. In an ideal world, what we'd like to see is multiple entry routes of equal value. So yes, people can go straight into the apprenticeship. Alternatively, people can study in a classroom-based course for a year, but then having done that, that contributing very significantly to the apprenticeship uh, when they start that almost sort of a seamless transition. What electrification means for the UK is clearly a more sustainable and green future, but also it means a future with more good, well-paid, uh, secure jobs, jobs that are spread across the whole of the United Kingdom because a lot of these jobs will be carried out by small medium-sized enterprises employing local people and training up uh, local people. So it really is uh, something that benefits all the places in the United Kingdom as well as the big picture benefiting the United Kingdom as a whole.